Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I build these two different style table lamps. For the first project I used some leftover industrial pipes. Then I measured how long the stand will be for the lamp. Using my miter saw I cut two pieces of plywood, one of them in the 45 degrees angle on both ends. After that to make them look better I repaired the holes in the plywood with wood filler. After waiting few hours I sanded them and I glued the two pieces together. When the glue dried, I marked and drilled a hole for the pipe using a 25mm drill bit. I used a piece of tape for the depth stop, I drilled a little bit further than halfway. Then using a 6mm drill bit, I drilled a hole for the entrance of the cable, which is exactly 6mm wide. These two holes made a connection, so I can bring the cable through. I sanded it with 80, 240, 800 and finally 3000 grit sandpaper. Then I applied a coat of African walnut stain to match the industrial look of the pipes. When tried, I brought the cable through the hole and I applied glue on the first pipe to make sure it won't move around or slide out. Then I added the rest of the pipes one by one while making sure that they are facing the right direction and the cable is long enough. Then I assembled the end of the light. When it was done, I pulled the cable back, so the light can sit on the top of the pipe. Since the socket is made of plastic, I used super glue for this connection. After a couple of minutes, I was able to test the lamp. For my second project, I was going for a more minimalist, modern look. I cut two identical pieces of plywood and marked the area that I will cut out later on. Then I glued them together. When it dried, I made cuts around the whole piece, just to make sure the edges are flush with each other. I used a round cup to mark the curves on the edges and I drilled few holes inside which allows my jigsaw blade to enter and I can start the cut. First I made the cut slightly further from the lines to avoid any mistakes, then I made my precise cuts later on. Using my cordless jigsaw table it was super simple to finish these cuts in no time. Check out the walkthrough video how I built this addition to my workbench. Then I cut all the necessary pieces to build a stand for the lamp. I glued them together and clamped them. While I was waiting for the glue to set, I started to sand the other piece. I used a round piece of wood for the inner corners, luckily it perfectly matched the shape of the curves, then I finished the rest with the sander. After waiting a little longer, I sanded the stand as well. I used Danish oil for the finish, which nicely brought out all of the details of the wood. Then I marked the middle of the top piece and I drilled a 25mm Y hole for the light. I made sure it perfectly sits on the middle of the stand and I mirrored this hole. After finding the middle of the circle, I measured how deep I need to drill for the light socket to fit nicely. The rest of the hole is 6mm wide, just like the cable of the light. 
Then I glued the two pieces together while making sure that the hole is exactly on the marked area. When the glue dried, I brought the cable through the hole, starting from the bottom. Finally, I put back the light and I made sure everything goes back the same way it was before disassembling it. Now I just had to pull the cable back to make sure the light sits on the wood and I glued it with super glue. A quick test to make sure it works and it's done. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the content and hit the bell notification to get notified when we upload the next one. Please like and share our videos to help the channel grow. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram.